Big Fight Live is back. British boxing star Josh Kelly continues his world title pursuit. And he stops it! Against Argentina's Lucas Bastida. This is a future world champion. In a battle for the WBO International Super Welterweight crown. Don't miss all the action as championship boxing returns live in The Big Fight Live, Kelly vs. Bastida, Saturday at 10 on Channel 5. This is Eamon Khan here for Boxing Social in association with Betfred in Bournemouth with the one and only Adam Azim. Adam, volleyball, a defeat, unfortunately. Talk me through the, uh, the volleyball match. Do you know what? We were, we were doing so well, but then I screwed up by punching the ball at the end. <laughs> boxer by name, boxer by trade, but your brother is in action this weekend. Talk about your brother and watching your brother get ready for his fight this weekend. Yeah, he's looking very well at the gym. Uh, he, he's in the best shape of his life. He's telling me that he looked uh, very good, uh, like in physique wise. He felt strong, and uh, he's going to be another spectacular performance by Hassan. Uh, I've seen the fans. The fans have been building. The fans have been coming more and more each 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 time each outing that you or your brother have. Talking about the fans and the support that you have too. Yeah, definitely. I, I like people who admire my work. Uh, thank you for all the support. I really love it. Uh, this is just the start, and we're gonna, you know, build, get. We're gonna get more, you know, more as, as the uh, fights get more. We're gonna keep getting these knockouts. What can we expect to see from Hassan tomorrow night? You're gonna see uh, Hassan's gonna definitely gonna go for. He's not, not gonna go for the knockout, but he's definitely gonna get the knockout. So. Yeah. I noticed that there's um, you got Hassan and you also got Stephen McKenna in the same way. Do you, have you got? Have you brothers talked about that fight down the line potentially? You know, we know Stephen McKenna. Uh, they're quite, they're good friends of ours, so we're, we're not gonna. We you know we're both like you know, good friends and that. So yeah, but uh, Stephen McKenna is gonna be fighting on Saturday, and uh, yeah, he's he's been knocking people out as well, like as well, and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be uh, it's a great night. Let's take a look at the main event. Chris Bill and Smith gets his opportunity in Bournemouth. What can we expect to see from Chris? Chris is definitely going to win by knockout. Uh, he's looking tremendous in the gym, and I believe so. Like this, you're going to, you guys are going to see the best of Chris in this fight because he's looking tremendous in every fight. But this fight, he's going to show everything because this is hometown as well. So, so get your thoughts on a couple of things first of all. Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank Jr. Whispers about that fight. Your thoughts on that one? Uh, I'm going with Conor Ben. I'm going to definitely go with Conor Ben because he's a, he's a friend of mine and uh, I believe he's very powerful and strong. A fighter that you've watched growing up, Floyd Mayweather, is talking about potentially having a rematch with Conor McGregor. Uh, I haven't seen that on socials yet, but if Mayweather's going to fight him, you know maybe they're just going to batter him in it, so that's that's, that's the, the main thing. So. A lot of talk about how Anthony Josh has to approach his rematch with Alexander Usyk. How does he have to, what does he have to do to beat Usyk? Um, he just needs to put the pressure on him, he needs to use all this strength against him. He can't really hold back against Usyk, because if he does, he's not going to be very dominant in the fight. So if he applies the pressure and uses all this strength, I believe so that AJ could uh, become victorious for the fight. A couple of final things. Next weekend, we see Jake Paul take on a proper boxer, Hashim Rackman Jr. How do you see that fight going? Uh, I know the other guy's really good, uh, but you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a great fight for Jake and the other guy as well because uh, you've got a boxer and you've got a non-boxer. But I, I believe so. You know, once Jake, if Jake can beat him, then obviously he can step up. And I, I believe so. Tommy Fury can beat Jake Paul. So. Adam, when are you next out? It's September the 3rd in Liverpool. And uh, I'm ready to go on September the 3rd. Um, I'm in camp. I've been doing two weeks camp straight away, but you know what? I'm, I'm looking in tremendous shape in the gym, so I want to I wanna get another knockout. Uh, you and your family, obviously, myself, we celebrated Eid a few weeks back. How was your Eid? Yeah, Eid was great, man. I hope you had a great Eid as well. Is it different for a fighter? Um, you know, it's the same thing. You know, Eid's always the same. And, you know, it's the best thing to spend time with the family and that. Adam, appreciate it. Thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social.